Hi guys, April here. Now, if you're here, you obviously are five foot four and shorter or a petite woman, most likely. And you guys already know, I make content for petite women, specifically fitness and health and nutrition related as a certified fitness coach and nutritionist. Now, something that I've encountered over the last five years, and I've never made a video about it, but maybe you have encountered this, like you're telling people, oh, I found this YouTube channel and it's all about being petite and how fitness is different for us. And you have, we're gonna call him, trainer brad and trainer brad's like what are you talking about nothing <laughs> nothing is different about petite women like calorie deficit calorie deficit you know what i'm saying maybe you've like brought this up with someone and they're like they just think it's a load of bananas that something could be different about your body as petite that you would need to train or eat differently or whatever because calorie deficit right now i have a question for trainer brad this whole video will be for Trainer Brad, but also for us, it's gonna be super interesting. My question to Trainer Brad is, Bradley, we won't even elevate it. We won't even elevate his name like that. It is a Brad, he's definitely not a Bradley, he's a Brad. Now, Brad, why, if petite health is BS, then tell me why there is published articles in, we'll start with the less credentialed stuff, but still important, Women's Health Magazine. Marie Claire, uh, Shape Magazine. And tell me, Brad, why is the president-elect of the Obesity Medical Association talking about how it's different for shorter women? And why are there studies on it? So <laughs> today, I think this video could be really cool. We're gonna just look at the receipts. You know, We're gonna look at all the articles on the internet. We're gonna look at this, the few studies that were published um, that talk about size and metabolism and height and all that fun stuff, weight loss, obesity, whatever. We're gonna talk about all of these professionals, doctors, dietitians. I mean, there's so much information about this on the internet. It's really not a question of like, is this bananas or not? It's just like, it's, it's pretty factual. So we're gonna look at all the articles and also you're gonna hopefully learn a thing or two about your body along the way and also see all this body of information so you don't just have to rely on me to know that yes, our bodies are a little bit different and you could have a more efficient, smarter training program you'll get results faster on because you take these things into consideration. All right, if you like this video, please give it a like. I'm feeling a little spicy tonight. I don't know why. I'm not a very spicy person, I don't think. Maybe it's because I'm filming at night and it's been like, a long work day, but I don't know. We're just like, we're just, we're just going in. We're going in. All right, you guys. So let's wrap up the intro there and jump in. Okay, starting with the Women's Health magazine. This was an article. It was published in 2018, so it's recent. We like a recent article, and it says putting on five pounds when you're five foot ten is NBD. You might not even notice, but when you're five foot two, it can feel like a red alert emoji situation. <laughs> But here's where things get really, really frustrating. Losing the same five pounds is also harder when you're short. Quote, short women have slower metabolisms, explains Craig Primack, MD, president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association. The average woman has a basal metabolic rate, a BMR, of 1,400 calories per day. That means if she lays in bed for 24 hours, she will burn 1,400 calories. But I see women who are shorter than five feet with BMRs of 1,200 calories and some who are 5'10 or so at 1,750 or more per day. The short answer, well, is the smaller your body, the less energy it, the less energy it needs, the less it burns. The longer version, short frames naturally have less lean mass on them, aka muscle. Primac says, lean muscle mass includes your muscle, organs, bones, connective tissues, basically everything that is in fat or water. Lean mass is also the biggest factor in how many calories you burn at rest, walking to work, or crushing it at the gym. Now, let's just pause for a second. So here we have an MD talking about how, yes, in fact, petite women have slower metabolisms, and maybe that, whoop, I almost just dropped my entire So we have a MD here talking about how our metabolisms are slower, and maybe that's a confusing term, but he's basically saying that we just burn fewer calories in a day. Now, this makes it super difficult for us to follow traditional diet and exercise programs that are specifically for no one, and aka general exercise programs that are telling you to eat, you know, 500 calorie deficit. How are we gonna do that as petite women? We're already at 1200 calories a day and we're gonna eat eight, 
500 calories a day, right? You see what I'm saying? Like these diet and exercise programs aren't made for us. They're unsafe in a lot of cases and they're not going to help you achieve your goal because if you drop that low in calories, it's not sustainable. It leads to the skinny fat look because you need that muscle to look strong and toned and in shape. So in other words, here's our first little piece of evidence that yes, Brad, this is a real thing. I know you hate to hear it, but it's true. Moving on to another article from Shape Magazine. This one is uh, where it doesn't have a date on it, but that's weird. But yeah, there's no date. It says, is it actually harder to lose weight when you're short? No. I, you and I know the answer, okay? We <laughs> know it is hard. It is hard. Like five pounds for a shorter woman to lose, like a whole different scenario. But other people don't. So Brad, get ready to learn. Um, all right, so it says, Louisa Peter, MD, board certified cardiologist who specializes in weight loss. She says, sorry to say it, but it's true. There you have it. <laughs> Literally, there you have it. Um, she says, if the harsh reality is that even if you have the same activity level and the same level of overall health, your taller friend is going to be able to eat more and still lose more weight than you, a shorter person can. And because you have to eat fewer calories to see weight loss results or to maintain your weight, it can feel a lot harder, she says. Now she attributes this to the exact same thing that Craig Primack does. So it's two doctors now saying the exact same thing. The reason it's true is pretty simple. The more muscle mass you have, the faster your metabolism works. Taller people have more muscle mass because they are born with it simply because of their height. Oh, this was from Sherry Portnoy, a registered dietitian. Your lean muscle mass has an impact on your BMR, which determines how many calories you burn at rest. The more lean muscle you have, the higher your BMR, the more you can eat. Of course, activity level plays a role here too, but the higher your BMR is, the less work you have to do for those extra calories eaten. This is so key, and this is the exact premise of everything I teach you guys, as well as how we create the Petite Power Program from the inside out. We are, we have created this program. I should say I, but now we have a team, right? We have registered dietitians, personal trainers, accountability coaches. Like we have a full team and they're all petite women. This program was engineered so that you can eat more. You can put on that lean muscle mass. You can increase your metabolism so that you're not playing this awful game that we've done our whole lives of trying to diet and restrict and then not being able to lose the weight we want and then starving all the time and going out with our friends and not being able to eat what they're eating or you know ending up eating what they're eating because it's so hard to not in social situations and then you're gaining weight even though you just want to go live your life and have fun this is the exact reason why we created this program why i'm so passionate about this also it's the main reason why it works because we looked at the science and I've now been running Petite Power for almost five years and we've had so many hundreds of petite women go through this and prove this to be true just through the program itself. I mean, the science is there, but if you can work on increasing your metabolism, you're gonna have so much more success as petite women. And by the way, I am going deep, deep into the science of the petite body type. It's like much more deeper dive in this and exactly what you need to do, like a step-by-step -step plan as far as your nutrition and your fitness in a free training that I'm teaching all week. I have three live sessions and you can sign up for free. Just save your seat below. There are limited seats. Go ahead and save it. Again, it's totally free, but I'm going to give you like the plan, not just like, oh, it's harder for us because that's depressing, right? I give you the plan, the solution, solve your problems on this free masterclass that I teach. And this is my signature masterclass. Um, a lot of petite women have gone through it and learned so much and it can change your life. So it's literally free. Just sign it below. Okay. Back to the program. Okay, this one is from Marie Claire, and they're taking a look at a study that was published in a medical journal called The Plus One. In this study, they looked at 330 healthy volunteers with different age, sex, BMI, and found that the variance between individuals, okay, bear with me here. It says, to scaling of organ mass to height and weight, and thus the constitution-related variances in either fat-free mass or kidneys, muscle, brain, and liver explained up to 43% of the individual variance in resting energy expenditure. They're literally just saying here, I know it was like a lot of blah, blah, but they're saying that shorter women have slower metabolisms than taller people and it's due to this variance in uh, organ mass. So we're smaller, smaller organs, we're burning less calories at rest. That's all it's saying. And this study 
showed it. They measured it. It's a study. They showed it. It's been proven. It's a fact, Brad. Brad, did you hear us? It's a fact. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, let's see. All right. So, so far we've looked at three articles in a medical study and we've heard from the president-elect at the Obesity Medicine Association. I think we're doing pretty good. Now, I will say, I've seen biologists, I, I saw a biologist, I will say that, like post a comment on my YouTube video a really long time ago that was like, this isn't true because with organisms, the smaller you are, the more efficient you are, the more calories you burn. So we do have some advantages. I feel like it's really important to talk about this because it's not all doom and gloom here. We are smaller, we actually do burn more calories per pound of body weight when we exercise. So we can burn more and that's awesome. Uh, another thing that's cool is shorter people can build muscle easier. So there are some advantages we have. Um, it, I don't say that to say you're gonna build muscle easily because you won't, unfortunately. I wish it was easy. It's not easy, but it's easier for us. So it's not all bad. It's just that um, it's, you know, it's stuff that no one talks about and that's why I'm talking about it because there's a whole community of us struggling with this and nowhere to put it. Okay, another resource here. Uh, this guy, John Karras, many of you have heard of him. He wrote a book called The Petite Advantage and it was like a diet book. He, I mean, some stuff in there I love and some stuff in there I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's sustainable. You know what I mean? It's a diet book, but he's like a great, I mean, he's a very well-established thought leader. He's certified to talk about this stuff. He was a fitness contributor on ABC's Good Morning America, and he also helped the former co-host Diane Sawyer lose over 25 pounds. So this guy knows what he's talking about. He even wrote a book about short women having to be a different situation, okay? And he talked about the same things we do. Build muscle, boost that metabolism, and you know, change what you're eating, not how much. Eat better, not less. That is a very, very basic, oversimplified version of his book and of some of the things we talk about on this channel. So what do you do if you, you know, now that we know all this, now that we've really seen the receipts and Brad has stopped talking, it's like, what now, right? How do I lose weight? How do I turn up as a petite? You guys, I am hosting this free masterclass and you are going to love it. If you haven't seen it before, you really got to come. It's the only class that I know of out there where I just give you a plan for your fitness and your nutrition and a lot of mindset hacks to get yourself in shape, to stop dieting and crash dieting and the cardio all the time and get finally get the results that you want lose the fat in your belly area tone up get strong feel confident and powerful in your skin and these sessions are live if you've ever been to one in the past and you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below um they're really really fun and there's a q a at the end so i would love to see you there you can check that out and save your seat in the description and then if you want to reference any of the links i'm dropping them in the description below as well so you can like read them send them to brad do what you will with them. And if you guys like this video, you found it informative, if I answered some questions you've always been wondering about this channel, which I hope I did, please, oops, excuse me, please give it a like and subscribe and share it on your social. I mean, that means so much to me. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next week.